once again. In the previous lesson, we looked at how prefixes are formed and were even introduced to affixes in general. We also learned the different meanings of the most commonly used prefixes. Today, we are going to learn about suffixes. They are also affixes. Let's recap what an affix means. An affix is a set of letters generally added to the beginning or end of a root word to modify its meaning. We know already that prefixes are found before the root word. So now let's look at what constitutes a suffix. Suffixes are attached to the end of a root word. They too create a new word with a new meaning. Let's review this list of common suffixes along with their meanings and sample sentences. Able means able to, susceptible of or given to. How did we manage before portable laptops? Able means able to, be or relevant to. When Suresh mutters, his speech is incomprehensible. A uh, means more relating to origin or designating role. The police need to question the driver after the accident. Full means full of. I am grateful for my editor's keen eye. Less means without. Life without books is meaningless. Munt means action, result or resulting state. His poor choices resulted in a disenfranchisement from the community. Li means in a specified manner. They successfully planned a fantastic event. It's important to note that you can add more than one prefix or suffix to a word. You can see it in words like unsuccessfully. In some cases, the spelling of a root word is altered when a suffix is added. Consider the word unimaginable. Its root is imagine. Often, when a word ends in a silent E, the E is dropped and the suffix is added. Another common sight is the changing of a Y to an I. Take the word pretty. If you want to say someone is more pretty than someone else, you might say she is prettier than her sister. Of course, where there is a spelling rule, there is an exception. Other examples of spelling changes include beauty, duty, lustful, beautiful, dutiful. Heavy, ready, plus ness, heaviness, readiness. Able, Possible plus iti, ability, possibility. Permit, omit plus eon, permission, omission. The T changes to a double S over here. You also have some adverb suffixes too. Li, calmly, easily, quickly. Words, downwards, homewards, upwards, wise, anticlockwise, clockwise, edgewise. Now that you have some understanding of suffixes, let's do some exercises so that you will be able to understand how and when to use suffixes. Write down the appropriate suffix. Dangerous, comfortable, famous, sunny, painful, windy, enjoyable, suitable, helpful, useful. Now try to fill in the blanks with a suitable word from those above. It can be dangerous to cross the train line, so be very careful. I really like this sofa. It's extremely comfortable. Beckham is probably one of the most famous football players in Britain. 
We have decided to have our lessons in the garden as it was a lovely sunny day. John's toothache was quite painful and he had to go to the dentist. Let's go sailing, it's a perfect day for it. The sun is shining and it's not too windy. This is a really enjoyable book. I'm sure you will like it too. This film really isn't very suitable for children under 10. There is far too much violence. The shop assistant was so helpful that I'll go there again. He gave me a lot of information. It's really useful to be able to speak another language. That was quite easy, wasn't it? Knowing when and how to use suffixes will help you to avoid making careless mistakes when writing. That ends our lesson on suffixes. Please do subscribe to our channel if you wish to watch more videos on your grade 11 syllabus. Have a great day. Goodbye.